Here's a look at the eight things you need to know today. While the unemployment rate remains at historic lows, there's one industry that continues to struggle finding workers. More than 500,000 manufacturing jobs are unfilled in the U.S. Today, leaders in the industry talked about the challenges during a meeting at Winona State University. News 8's Tyler Job is here with a look at what's being done to address the shortage. Mike, a big reason for the manufacturing worker shortage is simply not a lot of people have the skills necessary for the jobs. Now the industry is doing whatever they can to pull in new people and get their careers going. There's a negative perception when it comes to manufacturing. Sometimes people think it's dull, it's dirty, dungy, dark work. You know, we work in a well-lit shop. But Willie Luban knows how important manufacturing is for the real world. When you get into a manufacturing uh, career like machining, you're making stuff that matters. You know, we make parts for Disney. We make parts that hold pins or hold wheels on roller coasters. But the industry is facing another uphill battle, trying to gain workers. And they really don't know about the opportunities that are available in trades today. But there are some taking advantage of it. It's something fun to do. You know, you get to play around with new things and figure out what you want to do with your life. Ethan Cummings is part of the REACH program, which provides up-and-coming students experience with manufacturing. Ethan says students take classes and earn college credit through the program. I think it's, it's helped me a lot, like uh, getting to know what I'm going to do and seeing like what, should I, what I'd be strong in. Even though some are getting experience, it isn't enough. Luban says when he visits high school industrial tech classes, Students only know how welding works. I'll pivot to machining and I'll say, how about manufacturing or machining or something like that? And then what I end up getting is crickets. All he wants to do is give the people an opportunity. The reaction I get when we send people through our shop on a tour is, I had no idea it was this clean. And the other thing is, I had no idea that Fastenal did this. For Ethan, he's off to a head start. I'm hoping right now just to get, try to get more people interested and uh, maybe join the REACH program and hopefully be working at a manufacturer one day and stay there for the rest of my life. The REACH initiative is part of the Winona Area Chamber of Commerce. Ethan told me he also did an internship through the program. So what's the manufacturing outlook? Like. In the next 10 years, manufacturing is going to need over 4 million jobs. 27% of those workers are going to be retiring within the next decade. So manufacturing needs your help. Okay. Thanks a lot, Tyler.